Hey, what up, people? This is Richard I'm back with you on a lovely Monday morning. Welcome to Vapor, friends. Lovely day indeed. Sun's coming up nice and bright out there at a high of 32 degrees. Wow, I'm sounding like a radio DJ. <laughs> Good to be with you guys. The long-awaited review of Anatomizer, which I've been putting it back, you know, um, way too long. And it's time to do it right now. And we're talking about an atomizer, a rebuildable atomizer that is from UD Technologies. And you can see they've, you know, shortened out the name and just put the letter the U and D. But it means the same thing. UD Technologies, the Aga T5. We're going to get up close and check out the uh, atomizer and see. And also come back, you know, do a build on it. Talking about doing a build on it, this atomizer comes pre-built with a coil in it. So we're just going to add in the juice and then after that vape on it and see what I think of it. Let's go ahead and check out from UD Technologies, Aga T5. All right, so let's talk a little bit more before we get into the close-ups and uh, between uh, the T5 and the T7. Uh, you know, you might be wondering, even I wondered myself, what is the difference between the T5 and the T7? Well, the T5 to start with is just a little bit, tad little bit taller than the T7, considering, you know, the T7 has got a, what they call a juice catcher at the bottom, but yeah, it's still slightly shorter. The T5 doesn't have that. The T5 is less complicated in construction compared to the T7. The T5, if I'm not mistaken, uh, holds about 3.5 ml of juice in there. So um, those are the slight differences between the T5 and the T7. And before I forget, the T7 is a dual coil capable device, whereas the T5, it allows only a single coil. So that's the difference. Other than that, besides all that, I think they're both very, very similar in many ways. So right now, guys, let's uh, head into the close-ups and we're gonna check out up close and personal the Aga T5 from UD Technologies. All right, so let's get down to checking out our Aga T5 from UD Technology. UD, right, big and bold up there and uh, markings on the packaging. Beautiful packaging, all black, uh, comes with carbon fiber style kind of thingy. And you have your QR code here, so when you scan it, it takes you to their website, all the markings, and uh, also some write-up about the uh, atomizer, I suppose. You yep, there it is. A little bit dented, I suppose, uh, because of shipping and it slides out this way. Bring that aside, opens up, you have the star of the show in there with a little ribbon for you to just pull it out and get it out here. Some write-up about the Aga T5, more of it. And you have your know, yeah, little instruction leaflet here, all the part numbers over here, which is great, I tell you. Gives you a little bit of information and guide to the atomizer and you have your whole bag of spares here with an allen key and also a nice coil build up for you some screws silica wick and a lot of o-rings this back in there and we bring out the star of the show right now just pull the ribbon and out it comes so we have here the uh, aga t5 in my hand right now I'm looking at this for the very first time as much as you are and I'm going to try and break it down and show you all the parts here, all right? So it comes with a 510 uh, brass pin here and it's a flathead screw that you've got underneath here. Beautiful. Engraving UD Aga T5. Let me see if I can bring that a little bit closer for you. Yep. Nice. Polished stainless steel can be a bit of a uh, fingerprint magnet, but I like it. It's nice, very classy. Got all your airflow here. Single hole. Oh, that's a Cyclops style air hole. Very big hole indeed. Bring it closer as well. See? Yeah, so you can control your airflow control there. Suppose it's on both sides as well. Yep. Yeah. lovely okay time to break it down first take out this part from the top to the bottom because if you open this part up it's going to be quite difficult to open up this one so what you got to do is turn it clockwise pull it out and you have this top cap all right just to cover up the juice hole here 
and you can see the juice hole right there using the uh, allen key provided to remove the uh, juice hole for you to fill it up and you have your chimney the hole yeah, that connects to your drip tip held on by two o-rings here to give it that nice firm hole if you put it back in there so, mine comes in uh, anodized black there's also of course the first version or rather the, the when they first released it was brass or gold in color okay so this is the black one very nice it'll look great on my vapor flask next unscrew this top cap let's see what we have in there o-ring here this o-ring definitely goes in here to prevent juice from leaking out once you've got it closed yeah, and you've got your fill hole there threading all your threadings glass very nice and you have your chimney here then you've got two holes here another o-ring right inside there in the chimney this is the chimney big one as well I'm gonna put that aside. apparently this is the K fan killer so they say and it's an autumn atomizer and this is the cap that closes up the uh, deck there as you can see very nice all polished very well made I gotta say that you have to give it to them very well made and that's the uh, deck there pre-coiled um, I think that's like a 3mm diameter coil there, micro coil, cotton, flip screws on top, okay. They've already prepared everything for you, all you got to do is just juice it up and that's it, you're on the go. But be very careful because from what I found out that uh, when they build a coil, get some of it where the coil is touching the deck. If the coil touches the deck and when you screw it onto your mechanical mod, it's going to give you a shot. Your mechanical mod is going to get really, really hot very fast. So, advisably, uh, put it on your regulated uh, box mod, uh, your DNA or something like that. If there's a short, it will show you a short. Uh, the pre-coil can fall here that comes with it. The build is about 0.7 ohms, 7 something, 7.8 or something like that. Set between 7 and uh, 0.8 ohms. Right now, just put it onto my... Uh, DNA 30 and see if there's a short. Alright, let's just try it out. Alright, let's see. 0.7 ohms. Yep. 0.7 ohms as you can see. I'm not going to fire in it because I don't have any juice on it. Maybe what we'll do right now is just put a little bit of juice and see how she fires up. Juice it up. Right, now let's check it out. Uh, gonna fire it at uh, 20 watts, 25 watts. What the heck? We'll bring it up all the way to 30 watts. All right, let's see how she fires. 4.7 volts. Yeah. Whoa! Check it out. Perfect, so we can use, but be very careful, yeah, when you get yours, um, not everyone's like mine where it works straight away, just in case the coil is touching the deck, like I said, it will short out, and uh, the best thing is use a uh, regulated device, like the uh, Hanna Box Mod, and uh, if there's a short, it'll tell you so it's safer for you. If you're using a mechanical mod, make sure you lift up the uh, Kentor wire just a little bit so it doesn't touch the deck, otherwise yeah perfect lovely all right so just gonna take it out again right let's explore further now that I've got it all juiced up that's your 510 there with some juice around it sorry and just wipe it off maybe we should explore further take out the cotton Alright, it's got quite a deep well in there if you look at it. It's about three to four millimeters. Yeah, let me see. Yep, definitely about three to four millimeters. Okay, that's how deep it is. And you've got two 
juice holes at the side here you see the side here there's one juice hole here yeah and another one over this side yeah that's the deck to assemble it back you put this back on and after that the next part is your chimney cap here put that back on the pyrex glass tank make sure the o-ring is there don't lose the o-ring when you're washing it and then you have the other section here and you have your o-ring as well let's put the o-ring back on top like this make sure it sits on the groove sits properly there and just put it back and screw it back in All right and last but not least you have your top cap here so let's fill her up and let me see if I have an allen key about that size yep I've got one here let's take out the uh, allen key head here and just fill her up so basically what you can do is also take out the tank and uh, if you want to rebuild your coil you can just uh, put the tank upside down like this and work in your coil and then bring it back and then put it cap it back and close it again so that's another advantage of this all right let's uh, fill her up with juice fills about 3.5 uh, ml of juice straight from my bottle my plastic filling bottle I'm not going to fill it up full there you go got my juice in there all I have to do make sure you don't drop this fill hole uh, fill screw alright put it back in there like this turn it perfect sits in there Let's put a bit of uh, e-liquid here. So uh, you can cut the uh, o-ring. Perfect. Nice. That's my juice in there. Yep, soaking in. Lovely, bubbling away. Let's see. I got T5. All right, we'll get back to a normal camera angle. We're gonna vape on it and uh, talk a little bit about it. All right. So catch you later. Alright, so welcome back. We saw the close up of that uh, atomizer, and right here it's in my hand right now. Put it together with my Chaplin uh, drip tip, got it on my uh, vapor flask here. Beautiful combination, especially uh, this one that I've got it. Black, black goes very well with my anodized black vapor flask. And uh, let's take a break for a thing. Set it to uh, 25 watts here, if you can see that, and at 0.7 ohms, that's what it, uh, it's reading here on my vapor flask. I've got some juice in there. Let's take a vape. Ooh. <laughs> First. The inhale is as smooth as a baby's bottom. <laughs> I, I can't think of any other way to describe it. It's beautiful. Mm. The flavor... Sorry, I'm taking an excuse to go vape on it again before I tell you more. Sweet to the very last drop. Whew. Sweetness at its best. You talk about flavor. Mm, 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 mm. This is really a flavor pumping device. It is giving you the flavor that you want. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I don't know, 0.7, um, what do you call? Oh yeah, by the way, I think I made a mistake early on in the close up, I say it was 26 gauge wire. No, it's 24 gauge wire with about eight wraps around it and coming up to about 0.7, 
Um, some people say it's 0.8, but mine's 0.7 ohms, all right? Could be the sweet spot. Beautiful, beautiful, I tell you. Let me take a long hit. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wow. Excellent. 25 watts. I'm going to pump it up to 30 watts. Might as well. Take it all the way up and see what happens. 29, 30 watts right here on my vapor flask. Bit of a warm vape production, vapor, vapor flavor, all there. Oh, I paid only a hundred ringgit from uh, a good friend of mine who sells on Facebook, Zul Vaporpo Watakungsi. I think you heard that name before, very unique name. Hey, shout out to Zul, thank you very much. Got me the black one, goes so well with my vapor flask. One more vape, I tell you. Whew. This is it. Beautiful. Until I talk to you again, guys, vape safe, vape on. Have a nice week. Bye for now.